Welcome back to Switzer. With the housing market hotting up and buyers clamouring for home loans, let's find out what are the best and uh, variable and fixed rates in the market. To find out these answers, we'll turn to the former Virgin Money CEO, Rowan Gamble, who is now Managing Director of mozo.com.au. Mate, how are you? welcome to the program. Thank you very much. Good to see you. Yeah. So did you, did you get shares in Bank of Queensland after they bought Virgin no, Money? Uh, my Virgin Money days are a few years ago now. Oh, okay. So I'm uh, seven years out now. Okay. All right. So, uh, mozo.com.au. Tell us about that. Mozo.com.au, we're a financial services based marketplace, so an online business. Yeah. So on the consumer side, yeah. uh, we're helping people save money, basically. We do that by giving them all the information they need, interest rate, fees, product details, aggregating... It's a comparison website. Aggregating up the yeah. industry and comparing. Okay. And then connecting those consumers, and we get you know, 350000 a month now to our site, yeah. to the banking industry, to the people that are giving the best deals in the market. So just trying to bring efficiency, really, to the, to the market. And, and it's just good to be able to, if you, if, even if you're not going to get it online, by doing the research, you, you can go armed as you go to a mortgage broker or you go to a bank or, or you buy it online. At least you know what's out there. Absolutely, and that, it's exactly right. OK. Now, I won't, I won't make you name the companies because I didn't tell you I was going to ask you to do it, but give us a, an idea of how low the variable rates are now and the fixed rates? Well, you should be comfortably under 5%. In so, both of those. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, the absolute best on the market right now would be closer to 45 In fact, 4.51%, oh. I think, is the best you'll get on the market. So that's a variable? That's a variable rate. 45 Now, is that um, a headline rate? Or a comparison rate? Well, that's a good question. And, you know, the difference is uh, basically the fees. So yeah. the comparison rate adds in fees and makes it an overall cost of the product. Yeah. Now, the very best products actually have the same yeah, very low rate comparison rate. Yeah. And why? Because they've got no fees. So yeah. the one I mentioned, for example, has no fees. So yeah. it's the same. Can I, look, I, I, I haven't checked out your site. I, I watched, looked at it tonight, but I didn't actually go hunting for the information I'm asking you from. <laughs> but I, I know. Historically, I've seen Eubanks often been its variable and its, and its headline as comparison have been the same. Correct. You're, and and, you're, and that, they have a few rivals who are in the, sort of, the same sort of area. Correct. And they're the players you'll see doing this. The, yeah. the challenger brands and actually the ones that have embraced online and the ones that have... Uh, and a lot of them, they'll have some restrictions in that they will be online focused. You might need to be comfortable operating in an online environment. Yeah, but so you, for example, if you're a small business so. owner, you might find it harder than if you're a, a public servant in a, in a salary job and all mm. that sort of stuff. Not necessarily. In some ways, a small business, business owner is pretty savvy, so yeah. they're going to be comfortable doing it. No, but I'm saying that, 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 that some, some loan products are discriminatory. They are, but you'll always end up in the, you know, the bank process of, yeah. of credit checks and the, and the like yeah. anyway. Yeah. So once you've got your application in, mm. you know, you, you may, yes, you may not qualify, mm. but uh, it's worth trying. Yeah. The, the amount of online um, offerings out there, how fast are they growing and how mm. well are we responding to mm. it? Because mm. the POMs, they're really into it, aren't yeah, they? Big absolutely. time. But absolutely. we're a bit slow on actually applying applying for the loan online, aren't we? No, it's changing very quickly. Right. Good. So that may have been true a year ago, two years ago. Yeah. But you, you mentioned Eubank. Eubank, you know, the U oh. home loan. Yeah. Um, been on the market, what, 18 months perhaps? Yeah. Um, Judging from those great ads they had, yeah, about 18 months. And, so. and, and they're. Um, they're getting a lot of traction mm. and they're testing that. And yeah. are people comfortable? And I think the answer is a resounding yes. I mean, we've got the a... Younger people, I presume, are more comfortable. Yeah, so not they've done it the old way. Uh, sometimes we're surprised by our demographic mm. is older than, than you might think. Mm. And we are, uh, as consumers, very comfortable. We operate online. You're just talking about, you know, social media, Facebook and so on. We're mm. all comfortable in an online environment. So consumers are very happy. Now, what? probably isn't keeping up as well as the banking sector. Yeah. The banks have been a little bit slower in developing online propositions. Mm -hmm. And now I would argue that online is the old world. Now mm -hmm. it's all about mobile. It's about smartphones. It's about tablets. And it amazes me how few banks actually have a mobile enabled website. It's mm -hmm. just, that's crazy. That's crazy in 2013. Yeah, it certainly is. So let's go to fixed rates now. Mm -hmm. um, I know I'm, the, the, the problem of being me is that 
wherever I go, people will ask me, is it time to fix me? Is it time? Yeah. And I, and I have been... You think you get asked. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You can be worse than me. But, uh, yeah, over the last three or four months, I, I said, we, we've got to be near the bottom yeah. of the cycle. Yeah. What's the latest developments in fixed home? Yeah, I, I would say if I was to try and pick it, the absolute bottom of the cycle was one or two months ago. Good. So I got it right. Good. Okay. Yeah. So because it's starting to sneak the up. The banks have... Th that's right. And the white reason I say that, the banks are moving fixed rates mm. up now. Now they're still low, it's not yeah. as if we all have to panic and rush. No. And we don't know, maybe there'll be another shock and they'll go down again. But yeah. I would say we've hit the bottom of the cycle mm. um, and fixed rate loans are definitely sneaking up. They would have gone up 15, 20, 25 basis points in the last mm. month or two with not a lot of fanfare, of course, they've just been snuck up. Okay. So that's the loan part. What else do you guys do on the website that people can get benefit from? So we do, yeah, we do all retail banking. So the other side, of course, is deposits. Yeah. And, you know, it's all about lending now. But two years ago, it was all about deposits. Okay. And the banks weren't lending to anyone, let alone small business. Another easy question, Ron. What's the best term deposit out there now? Term deposits is something that is a, it's a funny business. Yeah. It's, you know, it's, it's, it was so hot a couple of years ago, yeah. and now it's really dead. Four was the best. Four yeah, point one, four point two. Yeah, and you'll typically um, it does vary, but the online savings accounts mm -hmm. these days are probably better because you'll you'll probably get better interest rates, and it's actually a more flexible yeah, product. Yeah, that's but right. Like ING often comes up with a pretty. Pretty good rate, you still get it? mid four. Right, you mean. still get, you know, from the INGs, from the the U banks of the world. You'll still get four and a half percent ish on deposits. So it's still reasonable. There's a lot money. of flexibility. Not bad, really, is it? But the banks have stopped chasing deposits. You know, two yeah. years ago we were in a deposits war. Enough borrowers. We've moved moved very quickly into a lending war, and the banks want to lend aggressively yeah. now, which is a great sign for the economy. That that means things are good. Right. Last last week I did a conference with John um, Simon. And John actually said, even though people are talking about housing bubbles and whatever, mm. he said, really, people aren't rushing for loans, considering how low interest mm. rates are. Mm. He said, it's not a massive stampede like you would have expected. Are you seeing that kind of thing as well? We're, we're seeing it increase quickly. Yeah. Um, a stampede? No. Yeah. No. I mean, it's controlled. Not a bubble stampede. Not at all. Like not at all. And, I mean, uh, cycles are many years. I mean, you know, Mozo launched... You know, October 2008, the world was falling apart. So we've sort of watched this cycle, uh, and it's moving at a nice pace. I mean, the difference now is far more active than a year ago in the home loan space and other lending. You know, things like small business lending starting to open up as well. Yeah, um, yeah but I think in a controlled way. Credit cards, you compare mm -hmm. credit cards as absolutely, well? Absolutely, absolutely. Okay. They, they, they go out of their way to make it really hard for the normal, normal person to compare. Credit cards are a little bit more complex in that there's very the yeah. same bells and whistles. Low, yeah, it's and hard to value them. Isn't and we it? all want a different thing. Do you yeah. want a low rate, or do you want? Do you have a balance? Do you just want to chase rewards points? So yeah, yeah it, it's a bit more horses for courses, I think, mm. on a credit card. Do you think some people chase frequent flyer points, and then as a consequence, lose a bit of money that they could have actually? Some. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, you, would you say you're better off going for the the, the lowest? costing yeah. credit card than use the money to purchase the, 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 the tickets? Generally, yes. It depends who you are. Yeah. For, for the average person with average salaries and, and definitely if you've got any form of debt, you should forget rewards points exist, like literally. Yeah. We've analysed that actually and we found that for the average Australian with the average credit card balance and limits, mm. there is no card in the country that gives them rewards points value. When you consider the costs uh, and the annual fees, the only, if you, if you're a businessman and you don't have any debt mm. and you spend tens of thousands of dollars, yeah, I love your business, go for it, yeah. go for it, you know, you might as well chase those points, why not? But Because there, there are some people who use their credit cards that pay their tax tax bill as well. Yeah, this, we've, we've, had, we've had some smaller financial institutions try and pay us you know, things in, in credit card. And we're like, what do you want to do that for? I, like, I want the points. It's yeah. like, for that sort of business transaction, I can believe it. Yeah, OK, mate. And finally, what, what else is on the site that I haven't asked you about that people would be interested in? Yeah, we're starting to move into insurance now as well. We've done retail banking yeah. for the last five years. Yeah. So uh, you know, John was obviously talking about yeah, insurance Ralph. just yeah. now. So we're trying to get into that, uh, that space. So for premium comparisons and things yeah, like that. Yeah, comparisons, you know, so travel insurance um, and, and car insurance, you know, the, okay. the mass market everyday products. Mate, thanks for joining us on the program. Oh, it was a pleasure. It was nice to meet you. Okay, that was uh, Rowan, um, Rowan, sorry, sir.
<laughs> yeah, I, 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 I just completely forgot. I'm sorry, <laughs> mate. But we, we know from mozo.com.au, and I know you were the CEO of Virgin Money. If you want to read my thoughts each morning at the close of Wall Street, check out my website, switzer.com.au. That's the show for tonight. I'll see you tomorrow night.